The letters were sent out two days ago. On each letter, the time, date, and locations are specific. I place them in the top left corners, something only I do. Even when my teachers ask me to always place them in the right corners, it always gives me a little joy to see that they could ask me a million times in the nicest way possible, and I still won't budge. I thought it would be cool, kind of like a signature, although I'm sure neither of them will notice and think anything of it. I pace my room. Saturday is getting closer and closer, and I can't seem to contain my excitement. I squeal every time I think of the meeting, stuffed in some bush, the two idiots that play right into my hands. Shiota and Kaino want to have a sleepover, so naturally, Sujuna was asked, and somehow Kanzaki was roped into coming as well. Due to this, Nakamura and Okada are coming over, too. It was supposed to be a sleepover, I glare. Not a party. Sweat drips down Sujuno's forehead, then he shrugs. The audacity, I swear. I continue glaring, but before I can actually do anything, Shiota and Kaina drag me to the living room, where karaoke is apparently going on. Kanzaki and Akamura hold a mic as Okuda stands off to the side. You can sit down if you want. I motion toward my couch. Okuda nods and smiles. Her black braids following behind her, fingers caressing the couch's armrest, instead of twiddling with each other when she sits down. This really is something, Kanzaki shouts. Yeah, no offense, but I thought you hated us, Nakamura says, and all I can think is, if only you knew. It's no problem, I sigh, turning to the side to glare at Sujino for a split second. I then see Shiota whisper into his ear, and hear him say, I think you might want to sleep with one eye open. Sujino nods nervously, glancing at me, then back at Shiota. He gulps and finds a spot on the carpet where a row of snacks has been set out. What are you all doing during the weekend? Kanzaki asks, settling beside Kaino and grabbing a bag of chips. I'm going to an art exhibit, Kaino states fondly. Well, really? What kind of art? Asks Shiota. Kaino opens her dreamily eyes. Food. The lot of us feel the sweat on our foreheads as Shiota mumbles a small, Oh, what about the rest of you? I'm trying out new chemicals, Okuda says, just as dreamily as Kaino had. I plan to go swimming all weekend, Nakamura sighs, laying back on her hands. I'm going to practice my pitches. Sujino smiles. Well, I thought I'd hit the arcade just to see what I've been missing, says Kanzaki. I don't really have anything planned. Shiota smiles nervously. Maybe read some manga? I heard one of my favorite movies comes out in theaters Sunday. Maybe go watch that. He scratches the back of his head as we all nod. Then, as if when struck and I hadn't seen it, they all eye me, as if I was actually expected to contribute to this little group of, of, well, of misfits. Well, Kaino leans in. What are you going to do, Wyan? Nakamura eyes me with a suspiciously large grin. I wave my hand in the air, fanning myself. Is it, um, my voice gets cut off by the dryness in my throat hot in here? Come on, don't hold out on us. Nakamura sure is nosy, but they all crowd me. Even Sujino has the balls. What? Um, take, pi- uh, take pictures, I say, rubbing my wrist. Yeah, I plan to do some photography. Good safe, Lion. Sounds boring. Nakamura sighs. The others sign agreement or murmur some kind of agreement. What? Excuse me? I then proceed to berate them with reasons why photography is way more fun than what they said. In the morning, we rush in and out of rooms to get ready for school. When we're all dressed, Nakamura throws together some breakfast for us all. They knew they were spending the night, so everyone made their lunches ahead of time and left them in the freezer. Come on, or we'll be late! Kaino shouts, holding my front door open. Coming, coming, coming. The rest of us shout and run out the door. We catch a bus as we would all be late if we walked my usual route. Huffing and puffing, we take our seats. I take a window seat, and of all people, Sujina sits next to me. I hide my grin as I see he's still nervous from last night. I catch my breath and rest my chin on my fist. Using it as an armrest, I look out the window while the bus starts back up again and begins driving. 
I hear the group talking about something nonsensical. Ignoring it, I take out my phone and headphones. I resettle myself in the position I was in earlier and look out the window once more. And after a few seconds of nothing but white flares and socky browns, something red shoots past us. Or more like, we shoot past it. The thing is, though, I know it wasn't a robin I saw. It wasn't some type of bird. It was big and flowy, like hair. And for some reason, my mind goes blank until it remembers the strange boy from the forest. Was that him? I try to get a better look by craning my neck out, but of course it's useless. We passed him a while ago. I'm probably going crazy anyway, and the likelihood that that was him is 1 in 500. The bus pulls to another stop, and as passengers file from the front, we get off in the back and rush toward the hill. We make it just in time. The blob berates us with how being late could be the end of our school career, and being late to the job would get us fired, so we ought to never do it again. We take our seats and class begins. It is only until later that Kaina names the blob Koro after Koros and I. She adds Sensei after. Koro means in Kilbell, and Sensei means teacher, so naturally I've got a few opinions about it, but don't say anything. Unlike some of my new classmates who've got extremely troublesome mouths. When lunch is over and we walk out to the field in our gym clothes, Karasuma Sensei begins showing us a few knife tricks. And though it's only the second week of school, I feel at ease with the knife already. I am pretty confident I can master what he showed us in only a few rounds. We pair off again, and this time I get Nakamura as a partner. We both smile, knowing we're both pretty good with knives. Even though they're fake, we both treat them like they aren't, and like this is a real battle. I wouldn't be surprised if she was able to get the upper hand over me. Hell, I think I might even be a little scared, but that feeling immediately turns to excitement when she runs at me. I smile and do the same.